Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. My name is Kendra, and I'm so glad you decided to stop by and watch my hauls. I have two today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do a lot of hauls, a lot of cooking, some crafting. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and if you're not new here, you know all that. Welcome back, friends. I hope that if you like what you've seen, you're here to like, you'll consider subscribing. Okay, so this is Safeway. And it was just a stop by. Really, I, I, I didn't want to make dinner, which brings me to this. <laughs> These are Italian subs, and I got two, and that will feed the guys very nicely. We have a, a bunch of chips for them to add to this meal. I got a yellow onion because I thought I needed one more, and I got a pepper. Uh, both of these things can be used in tomorrow's dinner, and you may see that. I got some Werther's Originals. I got some s'mores because these were marked down to $1.99 s'more cupcakes because the season's over and they're bringing this stuff in. I got fall party cakes and the pumpkin spice rolls. If you are new here, you don't know, but I put stuff out on the front porch. Um, there's a little uh, like college dorm refrigerator on my front porch and I uh, feed Amazon delivery, the mail lady. Her name is Shayla. She's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I also put drinks out there. Now, I used to put food in a basket, but not unwrapped, just wrapped food. But we had a resident frog take up habitat there. And I stuck my hand in there and pulled out a frog once, and that was plenty for me. So now, treats go in the refrigerator. I got two sodas, um, a limeade, cherry limeade, green apple, and frosty root beer. So those are going there. And I got some mini pretzels for a, um, a recipe. And hopefully I can find that recipe because I already don't remember what it was. Got some double spice chai tea for the season coming. Organic seaweed snacks. I don't know why it was organic. It just happened to be organic. I didn't specify. I was looking for it. I don't know how you get, well, maybe they farm it. I was say, how do you get organic seaweed? You know, because that's what this is. Um... Let's see, got some plain bagels, and to go with the plain bagels, oh, here it is. Tillamook is a local dairy company in the area, the Northwest. I live in Washington State, uh, and this says that it's farm-style cream cheese spread, so we shall see. Oops. Anyway, I thought that would be good on bagels. I got some um, jalapeno cheddar uh, French loaves. This is good with the recipe we're doing for dinner tomorrow night that I got the onion and peppers for. I got uh, two of these, one hot spicy shrimp and one, I think it's just a regular chicken. I put these in one of the guy's bedrooms and he loves these at night just, you know, while he's doing nothing. He works all day and then at night he sits on his computer, which, you know, I can't say anything about it because I do too. <laughs> two. Five biscuit canned biscuits. I never buy these. The reason I have them here is because I'm using them for a recipe, <laughs> which won't be tomorrow. It'll be the day after tomorrow. In non-food, I got one dish towel. It says fall, sweet fall, and I love these colors. And so I'll put that on my stove handle door. And I got this because I'm a sucker for anything autumn. Tea time. Celebrate autumn snack recipes and tea ideas and things like that. So, there you have that. I think that's all I got at the grocery store. Yep, it is. Now, you're going to see the walkthrough of the grocery store. So, if you if you hang on a little longer, you'll see that walkthrough. You will also see the walkthrough of the um, thrift store. I went to St. Vincent de Paul, and I got some goodies there. You'll see that. If you've stuck with me this long, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I love to meet new people, so don't ever be afraid to make a comment or ask a question. You know I will chat right back. <laughs> okay, so here is part of my uh, thrift store, you know, haul. So I got one um, kind of a sparkly for Christmas shirt for ladies. And I've got this one in blue, and the reason it spoke to me is it had pockets in the front pouch, you know? And then, why does everything look so yellow up here? That's weird. It's like a reflection coming off of, can you see that? Weird. Okay, and then, oh, it's just blue with the pouch. 
And then this one, I love this plum color, and it's a long sleeve too. And so, I think they're all Walmart brands. Let me get this away from the butter that's out to soften. Now here's the last of it. This is just the um, St. Vincent de Paul again, but not, not clothing, the rest of this stuff. Um, at the end, I am going to put the walkthrough of Safeway with all of the fun things I found and a walkthrough of St. Vincent de Paul, but there won't be any talk. It'll be set to music. So now's your chance. <laughs> Don't don't go away when this is over there's more um i've never seen one of these this still has the wrapper on it you know from mainstays this walmart brand so it says it's a coffee clip so what you're going to clip that to i guess like um specialty bags like when you buy at christmas time peppermint coffee or pumpkin spice coffee or whatever you can just close the bag and then you've got the spoon i think it's a great idea would you believe i don't have a melon baller well i do now I got this to put away for Christmas. I like to collect these for um, snack boards, charcuterie boards, dessert trays, stuff like that. It's a little Christmas house knife. There we go. Of course, I wash these things well. We're near Seattle, and our team is the Seahawks, and so I'm going to put this up above my window where I have my Seahawk banner. Next, I went after all the cookbooks. I love these 25 cent cookbooks. So we got potluck suppers. We got family living, simply delicious brunches. Food and craft, food gift, food and gift holiday idea book. Waltz Shop and Save out at Key Center. I wonder if that's still there, Waltz Shop and Save. I think it's called something else now. But it's neat that they put that out and, and uh, personalized it but probably a long time ago to look at the year on that uh, country casseroles and who put this out I don't know <laughs> it looks like a, a nice book though okay so anyway those that's it those are 25 cents a piece and I always like to look through those and then I redonate them <laughs> okay this was eight dollars so it may seem a lot but these are really nice for um, crafting so they uh, punch holes in paper. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. I got a text from my daughter. Okay, so then these were a dollar, and they are for my pocket letters. And I got some more things for shaker pouches in the right color for autumn. And this one can be for any time, just more shaker stuff. And Christmas maybe, or even for fall, depends. There's some red leaves, right? I have the little girl that goes to this one. Well, she looks like a girl too. Maybe she's a boy. I don't know. But she's Autumn, and I have, and I paid a dollar fifty for her. Him. Yet. All right. I got this. Oh, one more. Lots of different like snowflakey colors. Where did this come from? It came from Goodwill originally, and that is an old good. Let me put my glasses on here. Get them off my head because I want to know what they paid paid at Goodwill for this. Nineteen cents, long time ago. <laughs> that is an old Goodwill uh, price tag, and it was thirty nine cents originally. Walco Productions, and I paid seventy five cents. <laughs> Okay, then I got this giant thing of scrap paper, Christmas and you know, the other, and I paid five for that. All right, come over here. Stickers, they're chickens, they're chickens. I couldn't help it. Coming up on the end of it. Thankful. I know some people say that the whole done deal is done, but I didn't get in on the Ray Dunn thing until late in the game, and I just think it's perfect for this time of year, and I paid a dollar for it. I love globes. I've started collecting them, believe it or not. I don't collect a lot of things, but so I'm going to try to make them just nice ones. There we go. I don't remember what that was. There's no price on it, but not much. Then I got a pumpkin pie plate. Not because I needed a pumpkin pie recipe. I have one that I love, but because I loved this. And if you wanted to give someone a gift of a pumpkin pie, you can just put it in this. 
and then you, they don't you know they get that with the pie it's a gift and they do that these are giant Kerr, Kerr brand jars. I won't be canning anything in them, but I like to strike, I like to dry, I like to store dry ingredients in big jars like that. Like, you know, rice, beans, whatever. So t two of those, and I paid $2 a piece for those. Coming on the last three things here. Remember, there's more coming up. I got a tall glass. I gotta quit snapping the glass around. I got a tall drinking glass here, a tall drinking glass here, and these are 25 cents a piece. And it's I'm not I'm obviously not gonna use that ring, but I, I like to get the quilted jelly jars. Okay, and that's all she wrote. And now watch the walkthrough if you would like. <laughs> 